Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. Well, as you saw at the beginning of this video, I was recently back in Sydney and I took the opportunity to visit Emma Roberts, a coin store located on Barrack Street in the heart of the city. What follows will be a three-part video series where I'll share with you what I picked up from the coin store. For this video, I'll share with you some of the coins that I picked up and also be adding a disc package over here which I picked up during my previous visit to the apartment in Perth. This is a package that I completely forgot about and we're gonna have a look at what's inside here. But before we take a look at all of that, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Okay, let's first start by taking a look at this package from the Perth Mint. It's already been a couple of months and I don't really remember what I purchased from them. But let me just get them out and we'll go through them one at a time. Let's start with this gold coin here. That's always a good idea. Here we have a kangaroo half gram proof coin released by the Perth Mint for 2023. This is a collector coin. And the reason why I purchased this coin is because this coin featured the memorial effigy of the Queen. Let me just uh, zoom in. Which has the years of her reign right above the portrait. The mintage for this coin is uh, currently unlimited. Although the Perth Mint will probably release the final mintage figures once production closed at the end of this year. Next, we have this baby unsecreted year set minted for this year, 2023. This is produced by the Royal Australian Mint and was purchased at the Perth Mint. Now, I never intended to get the baby set for this year for my collection. However, having watched several videos of content creators who have reviewed the set, I thought it's probably a good idea to add at least one of these sets to my collection. And there are two reasons why, which I'll share once I check the set out from this uh, cardboard sleeve. The first reason is that all the coins here feature the baby design on the reverse of the coins. This is, I believe, the first time that the Royal Australian Mint has released uh, baby designs for all coins included in a baby set. A previous set uh, probably have uh, just a few, and not all of them. And I believe this was the first that have been issued in this way. Uh, this set also contained a colored token with a baby design on it. So this is actually a, quite a unique set. And the second reason can be seen on the obverse. Uh, this is the only one of two sets, the other being the unsecreted year set. Uh, this baby set also have the uh, regular effigy of the Queen by Jodie Clark. Uh, this is not the memorial effigy. So the only way that you can get coins with this effigy for 2023 is to purchase the baby set and the unsecreted year set for this year. Moving on with a couple of these $1 coins minted by the Perth Mint to commemorate Anzac Day which falls on 25th of April of this year, 2023. Uh, nothing uh, too spectacular about these coins except that they both have the memorial effigy of the Queen. But these uh, weren't uh, too expensive. And I thought it'd be nice to add uh, two of these to my collection. And I might be giving away one of these for my future giveaways. Alright, with that out of the way, let's go ahead now and take a look at some of the coins and medallions that I picked up from Emma Roberts. We'll start with this $2 coin. This is a C Myanmar coin issued for last year, 2022. And this celebrates the 75th anniversary of peacekeeping in Australia. Uh, let me just zoom in. And you can see the C Myanmar right here on the reverse, just over here. C Myanmar coins, especially uh, colored $2 coins that are colored, are particularly uh, collectible. And these tend to do uh, really well on the resale market. So I was really happy to be able to add uh, this particular example to my collection. Next, we have two of these education medallions that were released in 1988 during the Australian Bicentenary celebrations. Uh, these medallions were given out to school students uh, each student will get one medallion. And I found these medallions in the junk bin at Emma Roberts. So I actually didn't pay uh, really much for them. I thought they'll make uh, really nice souvenirs for my collection. 
And just for fun, I also picked out two of these bicentennial medals. Let me go ahead and take one out so we can have a closer look at it. And this medal here uh, celebrates the arrival of the first fleet in New South Wales. Uh, the fleet uh, arrived at Botany Bay. And right on the back, we can see the portrait of Governor Arthur Phillips, who was the first governor of New South Wales. Uh, these medallions are actually in really nice condition. And I thought I'd pick them out at a really great deal. Nice addition to my collection actually. And I'll do a more in-depth review about these bicentennial medallions in a future upcoming video of my channel. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at all the coins and medallions that I picked up from the Perth Mint as well as from Emma Roberts. And stay tuned to the second part of this video series where I'll review this very unique Chinese Panda and Australian Koala Silver Medallion which I picked up from Emma Roberts. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you'll please take care, be safe and have a nice day. Bye.